In this video, I'm going to continue working on this assignment. It's Project 8.1, The Button Maker. I'm going to create this assembly, the base assembly and the drawing. Your drawing will look like this. I'm going to create a new assembly. Place my first component. I'm going to place item 16, the base plate. Place it and right mouse button OK. Go to the part in the browser, right mouse button, and select grounded. Place my second component. Select item 17, the vertical support. Select open. Place two parts and right mouse button OK. Let's select constraint. I'm going to use the insert constraint. I'm going to select this diameter and this diameter. Select apply. Select that diameter and that diameter. Apply. Place my second components. Select item 40. Select open. Place two parts and right mouse button OK. Once again constraint and use the insert command. I'm going to select this diameter here. It's the flat part of the nut. I'm going to select this diameter here. Select apply. Once again, the same diameter, the flat portion of the nut. And then this diameter. Apply. Place item number 13, the rubber foot. Open. Place four parts. right mouse button OK. Constraint. Insert once again. Select that diameter and that diameter. Apply. 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 Let's select my next component. Item number 14, screw 832, open, place four parts, right mouse button, OK, constraint, insert, select that diameter, and look down into the part and select that diameter. Select Apply. Select that diameter. Apply. 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 
apply. Save your assembly. Call it subassembly base. Go to this view. It's currently the bottom view. Select this icon, the context menu. Set current view as front. Save your work. Create a new drawing. Place your base view. Place a bottom view and an ISO view. Set the scale to 0.75. Select OK. Select your ISO view. Select Shaded and OK. Select Annotate, select Parts List, select this view, and select OK. Place your Parts List about there. Select Balloon, point to the vertical support, right mouse button, continue, point to the plate, right mouse button, continue, point to the rubber foot, right mouse button, continue, Right mouse button, cancel, select the balloon, and right mouse button, and select attach balloon from list. And I want to add the screw. Check it, and select OK. And just click down here so that the, the, the balloon could be placed either here or here. We're going to put it right there. Go back to balloon and point to this nut here at the right mouse button continue. I'm going to select this leader text and point to the same location here. And then over here I'm going to place some text and right mouse button continue and enter uh, 2 capital X, select OK. And at every location where there's more than one part, I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to select here, here, right mouse button, continue, 2 capital X, OK. Here I'm going to place the text twice. I hit enter and then I type 2x again. And the right mouse button cancel. I'm going to select these leader texts that I've been these texts that I've been adding. I'm going to right mouse button and delete leader. And I can reposition the text so that it's approximately where it should be. I'm going to do the same with the other location. So right mouse button, a delete leader.
delete leader. And what that lets me do is, is this text is attached to this note. So when I move the, the view, the text moves with it. If I didn't use the, the leader, the text would be independent and it would not move with the view. To go to Eye Properties, to go to Summary, change the title, change the title to Subassembly Base, change the author to your name, verify that the revision number is A and there is no part number. Select OK. Save your drawing. Go to File, Export to PDF. Save your PDF drawing in your Documents folder and submit your PDF drawing to Project Lead the Way to complete your assignment.